My name is Janet Museven Kataha and I'm the CEO. My name is Kukunda Kwe Isabella and I'm the Chief Technical Officer. My name is Namteri Maria Elizabeth and I'm the Chief Operations Officer. My name is Namagene Majeri and I'm Chief Finance Officer. My name is Nami of Catherine and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer. And, and we are Team Kodiaks. Did you know that 40% of your men have never talked to anyone about their mental health problems? Whereas 29% of these men fear to talk to anyone about their mental health problems. All this comes as a result of the ideal traditional masculine stereotypes such as aggression, violence to solve problems, emotional suppression as well as the social, economic and political expectations from men that society has normalized. From a young age, these boys are taught and brought up under the normalized stereotypes, which end up affecting them in the long run. Most times, these boys conceal their feelings and emotions and don't talk to them about anyone. Due to pilings up of stress, as well as the negative emotions concealed as they grow up, this starts to threaten their mental health, as well as social, physical, and well-being. That is why our group decided to follow the sustainable development goal rule number three, which is good health and mental well-being, which, um, which deals with emotional, social, and physical, physiological well-being of the men, women, and children in society as a whole. The reason why this problem is very important to us and our community is because one of us has had a cousin who went through a lot of emotional overwhelmment because of his financial problems and especially after his parents died. He had a lot of stress and he had a lot of sadness inside him that he didn't bring out because he was brought up thinking that men don't get hurt and men don't express their feelings because it's not money. After a lot of convincing from his caretakers, they decided to take him to a support group where he didn't exactly open up because there were people that he knew and people that he related with that he didn't want to open up to because he was ashamed to do so. And it is important to our community because when these men get hurt, they want to let out their anger or their hurt and they let it out to the wrong people, which leads to domestic violence, especially after drinking, taking drugs, because they want to suppress this hurt and anger. So this also threatens the basic human rights of women. This is why our team Kodiaks decided to build an app called Masco. In this app, these men are put into support groups where they are encouraged to open up, where they are, where they are connected with um, speci specified therapists who help them to actually understand that it is okay to talk about their problems and emotions. In the future, we intend to add an, a game which will give users solutions to a problem. For example, you're faced with a bully at school. Do you beat them or do you report? And in each of these choices, there's a repercussion. In that way, we teach our, we teach our users that violence is not the answer to everything. We also intend to include enough ads, for example, websites that are fighting for the same cause to create enough platforms for these men to actually go to for help. Um, we carried out a survey in our community on the different men and asked them different questions about how our app, okay. We explained to them how our app should work. Most of the men never wanted to open up at the first place because they were hesitant. But the more we kept on explaining to them how our app is going to work, the more they kept on understanding and asking more questions and appreciating the app. They gave us different views on what they would prefer. And we explained to them that we have the global zone and the safe zone. Most men prefer the safe zone. Hence, this helped us to develop our app even more and create different changes which enabled the app to grow better. According to the research we made and data we collected during the survey, we realized that most men prefer meeting online compared to meeting someone physically. Meeting someone physically means that their issues are going to be exposed to this person and this person may tell everyone else around them and even use it as an example during other sessions which men do not find, which men are not comfortable with. Whereas our online idea it creates a safe space for men because no one will know that it's no one will know the man's identity who is giving out their issues, hence they fully express themselves. Despite our endeavors to end this problem, we cannot do it alone. We need the whole world to stand with us and realize that toxic masculinity is affecting our community. That is why in our app we plan to add a global platform where these men's testimonials are shared so that it can create awareness and, and hence we remain Team, Team Cordiacs. Cordiacs.